Case in Dallas, now positive. Oil, obviously, uh, we've talked about this hour, this 10-year. Uh, we're beginning to talk about the lows of the 10-year. We're talking back in 2012 when we were below 1.4. On the, you called it a panic in Treasuries. Yeah, the largest drop since November of 2011. Uh, down, look, this is one of those moments where you, when you get a violent move, the violent move has very little to do with the Fed. It usually has to do with someone who made a huge bet, and the bet is blowing up. Because, you know, what's happened is, I mean, look, we have Spanish tenure that's down a lot. We have Italian. Money moves around all over the world. We saw that from when we had the crisis, the John Corzine crisis. You like that? But I, I just, I point out that when you see these kinds of moves, eventually what happens, when the smoke clears, they buy Clorox. When the smoke clears, they buy Procter. These are big, raw-cost companies. They buy, they go, buy Coca-Cola. Yeah, what's the matter with that? Should you really be able to borrow? Should the U.S. government really be able to lend you money at 2%? Well, I mean, does that really is, make sense to you? Can I just or, say, by the way, the Italians at 2 3 What is the U.S. government doing? Or the doing? Spanish at... What? what is the U.S. government doing? Why, why, why isn't the Fed selling all these treasuries that they're supposed to be stuck with? Well, as, as Joe Weisenthal at Business Insider wrote, remember when we worried about who would buy treasuries yeah. after QE? The Chinese ought to be selling. They ought to be going. They ought to be ringing the register and doing the biggest infrastructure project in history. That would help. Yeah, it would. Well, they've already been doing the biggest infrastructure project in history. You all right. One? I want some empty buildings, and I want them now. Yeah. There's the opening bell. And a look at the S&P at the top of your screen. Down here at the big board, Great Western Bank Corp. Focused on agribusiness, celebrating its IPO today. Over at the NASDAQ, GH Financials, a clearing firm for exchange-traded derivatives, are uh, doing the honors. Um, really quickly, Jim, sentiment. People say it's shifted so quickly that there was not the bullish sentiment that you would expect at the top of a bull market. Some people think that means the long-term bull has more to go. Uh, look, I think that the confidence is just totally shot here. Uh, the, at the same time, like I said, you know, we're going to look back and we're going to say, wow, why didn't we buy things when oil dropped to 70? It was like such a great thing for America. Giant tax. Like, you know, we could have a tax cut in nothing versus this. We're going to look back and we're going to say the CDC, after initially not having Ebola under control, got it under control. We're going to look back and say, OK, the Russians cut the gas off and yet Europe didn't do that badly and Merkel changed her mind. We're going to look back and these things are going to happen. But at, right now we're in that moment where nobody looking back. They're looking at the numbers on our screens and they're saying, all right, I want my money back if I'm a hedge fund uh, investor. I, I don't trust this market. I would rather be in uh, and they, then they whatever they.